I think that we can all agree that the team you're looking at right now is pretty good. I used some of the stubs that I had to go out and buy a 94 Jaron Duran, and on paper, he looks pretty good, at least offensively. This 91 overall tops now, James McCann is easily one of the best catchers in the game. And even this Max Meyer doesn't look that bad. But here's the problem. Look at how you acquire Max Meyer, a season awards pack. Same thing for Jaron Duran. If you want this card, you have to pull him in a pack or you have to buy him on the market. Do you see where I'm going in this video? Do you notice the trend? 100% of the cards that you just saw, you have to buy or you have to pull in packs. You cannot grind for any of them. And I wish I was joking, but if you go to the Season Awards Drop 3 program, there's some cards in here, but obviously they're not as good as the Jaron Durans or even a Shane Bieber who was also on the market. Sure, you can get 93 overall Ronel Blanco on your squad for free. If you want that card, you have a couple different options. You can go through the program, get all of this stuff done, or you can do what I did and you can use a fast pass system and completely skip the line. Now, let me just make something crystal clear before I get into my full blown rant. I do not mind having good players in packs. I think that's important. Like Coogs has said in his videos, having good packs is good for the game. I also don't mind a system in which people can skip grinding if they absolutely despise offline grinding. Like let's say you have a family of five and you have to go to dinner with your wife later on in the day and then you're babysitting the kids the next day and looking after them and going to a water park or something like that. Maybe you don't wanna spend all day grinding. So if you have the extra stubs at your disposal, you can collect the Shane Bieber, the Jaron Duran, the Max Meyer, the James McCann, the Tyra Estrada. You can complete the program in 13.7 seconds. I did not do any offline grinding. I collected all of the cards and I got all of the free cards in the program by buying the non-free cards. I do not disagree with them having that option in the game. I will buy back my time any chance I get, whether it's with Amazon Prime, whether it's with Disney Plus or Genie Plus, whatever it is at Disneyland to skip the lines or get a fast pass. I will buy back my time. The problem arises when you're now undercutting other people. What I mean by undercutting is that, yes, if you don't spend any money on this game, you can get this 90 Travis Star. No, a Justin Foskey. We talked about this Blanco card. You can get all these cards for free, but you can't get the other cards. These cards right here, the Shane Bieber, the Jaron Duran, the Max Meyer, James McCann, Tyro Shada, these are all in a pack. Again, I didn't even bother opening the packs because in my personal opinion, packs have not been very good this year. So I just went out and bought that Jaron Duran. While we're on the pack screen, let's go find this classics pack because if you want 95 Nick Castellanos, Edward Cabrera, Taylor Trammell, Soroka, Andujar, Lewis, Webb, you have to buy them. All that we are asking for is that when you come out with a program, a featured program with a theme throw in one pack you cannot hide players in packs i have hated this since the chase pack days and the reason why i hate the chase packs not so much that they're not good usually chase pack players are insane but they don't even tell you the odds of pulling that chase player in the chase pack so it feels a little bit scummy in the empty space right next to ronel blanco for maybe 51 stars or 55 stars, why could they not throw in an extra pack? A featured season awards drop three pack, make it a guaranteed low diamond. At least throw your users a bone. Otherwise, you are holding players behind paywalls and that's when people are gonna give up on your game and never come back. If it feels like you have to spend money just to compete, they're not gonna play it. Now again, I had the extra stubs to go out and skip the line. I got all of the free players on top of the pack players because I bought the pack players. I exchanged the pack players for all of the free players so I get everyone in five seconds. Again, no issue with that. If you don't wanna spend money and you wanna grind, that's perfectly okay. But what's not okay is if you do the grind and you have no opportunity in the world to pull a player from the pack from the same themed program. You have season award packs and a season award drop and a program, but the pack is not in the program. What? One other thing that makes no sense. I'm, I'm looking for it. I cannot see a classics program. I cannot see a pipeline program. Those are two brand new series that are just missing. Oh, you want Miguel Andujar because he absolutely rakes? Uh, tough luck if you're not buying packs. He is only in packs. There is not a classics program. And even if there was, they probably would not put a classics pack in the classics program. This Kyle Harrison looks so sick that Cardar is just flawless. He's got really good K per nine. The pitch mix is not the best, but I would use this card. Oh wait. 
I can't use this card because I refuse to go and buy them. That is the only way that you can get this card. I'm going to sound like an asshole on purpose, right? I'm going to do that on purpose because this is how the game is working right now. I play this game for a living. I can spend the stubs because one, it's going to make me money on a video. Two, I can write off the stubs. And now you have to use free Steven Kwan and Team Affinity facing my 95 overall Ian Happ because I went out and bought him. And I bring up Steven Kwan and Team Affinity because yes, there's a brand new season of Team Affinity and there are a bunch of good free cards. But I also bring up Team Affinity because I was gonna cut them some slack. I was thinking in the back of my mind, maybe they're gonna throw a classics pack in here. Maybe they're gonna throw a pipeline pack or some season award packs in here. They're nowhere to be found. Absolutely none. The only thing that I can see right now is the Soul Series and Spring Breakout, but these were programs. Classic does not have a program. Pipeline does not have a program. One correction I do want to make in the brand new Team Infinity 2, there's actually new Pipeline players. So even though there's not a program, you can earn some of these guys. Now, the one thing I will say, they really nerfed the contact and clutch on the majority of these guys. So unless they're using a boost, they're not going to be as good as the Pipeline cards in the packs, which still to me is a problem. And I don't know if I can be any more crystal clear than how crystal clear I've been all video. I do not mind good cards being in packs. I don't mind packs. Packs. What I do mind is when you can only get certain cards that are generally the best cards in the game only in packs and then they don't give you opportunities to grind to earn that pack for free. I don't care if it takes an hour or four hours. Give people a way to grind and get that pack. Give them one measly chance at pulling a diamond. That's all we're asking for. I love Jaron Duran cards. He has one of the best swings in the game. I know the defense is a little bit sus, but at least the speed and the reaction is going to help out. But that's besides the point. A lot of you guys are not going to experience this Duran card because you have to put money into the game. And some of you are better at the game, so you have the extra stub. So all of your BR runs and making ranked seasons before anyone else, you can actually use that to your benefit and invest into the game. It's basically a portfolio, if you want to call it that. You're investing your time and energy into the game. You're getting W's and in return, you're being given cards that you can sell and you can reap the benefit of that. But that's another issue that I have with this game. If you're just casually playing MLB The Show and you're not very good at the game, I'm talking about someone like me. I can go on a World Series run, but that's if all of the stars align, I have all of the best cards in the game because I caved. If I'm not selling out and buying all of the cards, I'm usually not making World Series. So if I'm just playing it normally, I'm not getting a lot of stubs. I genuinely hope that I'm getting my point across without throwing people under the bus. I have spoken to people who work on this game almost every single year. I enjoy them as people. I think that they work hard on the game, but I am warning them a friendly reminder that this is not a good approach to getting people to play your game long term. These are some of the coolest cards in the game. I'm talking about old school players like Taylor Trammell and Andujar that brings back nostalgic feelings like, wow, I remember playing with these guys on MLB, whatever game they came out. O'Neill Cruz, he's a lot of fun because he's tall, so he's going to be able to dive and be able to rob plays that other guys can't because they're not as tall or quick. Jorge Polanco is a lot of fun. I mean, I love this Jaron Duran. Again, he reminds me of Grady Sizemore, so I want this guy on my team, but if you do not spend money on the game, you cannot have any of these cards. And if I'm the bad guy for suggesting that when you create a classics pack or a pipeline pack, I am not asking for guaranteed top echelon diamonds. I am not asking for that. But if you create any sort of pack, I would hope that there's a program that goes along with it because let's face it, there are so many insane cards from back in the day, whether it's a program where you can earn a free gold classic Joey Gallo. So that's the first pack that you can get, maybe a guaranteed classic gold. And at the very end, you can unlock a chance at earning some of the diamond classics that are in packs. Does that make any sense? I mean, I used Edward Cabrera on All-Star at one of those stupid ballparks where the ball absolutely flies and I still somehow went seven innings with a 1.29 ERA. I didn't strike out a lot of guys because strikeouts are tough in this year's game because foul balls are still awful. But if you want to use Edward Cabrera against me, Fuzzy, you have to go spend money or you have to pray to the baseball gods that after spending your hard-earned stubs, you pull this guy as opposed to a lower diamond. There's not going to be a gameplay in today's video because quite frankly, I'm just not in the mood after seeing that there's no classics or pipeline pack in the XP reward path or team affinity. I'm not cool with the fact that they're putting out these 
season award drops, even though they're cool cards, the fact that they're still locking some of the better ones or actually all of the best ones behind packs and then not putting those packs in the program, I'm not cool with that. I just wanted to make sure that my stance was known. I am not trying to feed into the system of pay to win. I am a content creator. I wanna make these videos. So if you do have you know, a few shekels to put together to try out a card. Hopefully me using that card and debuting them gives you the chance to say, yeah, I want to try that card because Fuzzy did really well or your friend Kyle. We are kind of the guinea pigs and hopefully we can show you that cards are worth it or not because I don't know if you're ever going to get the chance to get an Edward Cabrera or a Jaron Duran because if you're not good at the game and if you're not being able to spend disposable income on MLB The Show, you're just not gonna use them, and that really sucks. So yeah, that does it. Again, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but uh, I hope that you guys can appreciate some transparency. There's been a lot of frustration, and I wanna give credit where credit is due. Shelfies made some noise about it. Coogs has made some tweets about it. Everyone has pretty much been sticking up at the fact that this is not cool, and I just wanna reiterate and put my name on that and say, yeah, I don't think that this is cool either. So thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one.